Olympic Bucharest, the capital city of Romania, now the home of gymnastic superstar Nadia Comaneci. Bucharest has been called by some the Paris of the Balkans. It is now the center of the Romanian sports explosion. Nadia Comaneci has become a young lady. Today she is here to watch and not to compete. As inside this sports hall in Bucharest, the Romanian search goes on for the next Nadia Comaneci. This is Charlie Jones along with Nancy Thies, and we're in Bucharest for the Romanian National Gymnastics Championships, the women's all-around. And Nancy was just a year and a half remaining before the Olympics in Moscow. Is it possible for the Romanians to find another superstar, another Nadia? Well, they have special schools here in Romania just for training gymnasts, so it's an ideal situation to find that new champion. So perhaps this afternoon on NBC Sports World, we will see that new champion, that new superstar. competition 38.625 Anka Grigorash and Gabby Gorgu are tied for second 37.75 Olympian Theodora Ungurianu 37.65 is in fourth place Ungurianu just had a 955 in the bars as Nadia Komenich looks on Anka Grigorash in the floor exercise Anka needs a 9.5 for the lead we've seen her in competition around the world it's like watching an old friend at work the classic gymnast Very clean. And as much as Anka plays to the crowd on the beam, she does not play to the crowd in the floor exercise. Looks like she's really concentrating here. A little low on that. No, oh, she goes out of bounds. That's going to cost her one-tenth. She had one, one foot out, and it's a one-tenth for every foot. Remember, she needs a 9.5 to take over first place. Most girls keep their floor routine for about one year, and I can remember seeing Anka doing the same routine about a year ago at the World Cup competition. I imagine she'll probably change it for the 1980 Olympic Games. Anka Grigorash, the veteran of the Romanian gymnastic team. Anka has a problem on her Arabian. She's a little low here. And then has, has a bobble coming out of the back handspring. Takes one step out of bounds, and that's one step. The score for Anka Grigorash, 9.20. That is not enough to move her into first place. We're in the first rotation. All four events are underway. We move to the B. This is Amelia Eberly. The press handstand for a mount. There's a bobble there. A little shaky start for Amelia on the beam. Her lead after the preliminaries is so commanding that she needs only an 8.6 to retain first place. Amelia is coached by the same man who used to coach Nadia, Bella Caroli. I think we can see a lot of his influence in her routine. back summing. 
have a back extension roll. So far, except for her mount, she's doing pretty well. Now here's a move that takes a lot of balance. It's a handstand. And she's going to make a 360 degree turn. Oh, oh no. Oh, she lost it. That's 510. That alone will tighten up this competition. Definitely. Here comes her dismount. Tuck back, Sonny. 14-year-old Amelia Everly, who is in the ninth grade in gymnastics school in Davos. And she's a very disappointed 14-year-old. You can see where she has a problem here. Her back leg goes over a little bit too far. She loses her balance, tries to save it, falls off. The score for Amelia Everly, 8.85. That's enough to retain her lead, but cuts her margin to just over two tenths of a point. With one more competitor remaining in the first rotation. Last competitor, first rotation, women's all-around Romanian National Gymnastics Championship. Floor exercise, 15-year-old Gabby Gorgiu, a classmate of Amelia Everly. Double back, a little low, but not bad. Gabby needs a 9.75 take over first place from a classmate. Being a teammate of Amelia, Gabby has the same coach, Bella Caroli, and Bella's wife, Marta, has done the choreography for this routine. We have an Arabian right into a back flip. also looks a little bit like Nadia's routine that we saw in the 1976 Olympics. Very feverish. She's like a mechanical doll. You just wind her up and let her loose. It's not surprising that this ninth grader's hobby is playing football with the boys. And to me, she has a physical resemblance to the Soviet gymnast, Nellie Kim. her style and the flex is a little different than Nellie's though. Debbie Gorgio. Nancy, I'm not sure I like this type of routine. Well she has a sort of haphazard type of choreography which makes it difficult to judge. Here we see on her double bash she doesn't quite get enough height and lands a little low. The score for Gabby Gorgiu, a 9.45. So the standings after the first rotation, Amelia Everly holds on to the lead. Gabby Gorgiu and Theodore Ungariano are tied for second. And they have tightened up the competition. Nancy, even though Nadia Komenich is not competing here, she's been watching all week. Earlier, I had a chance to ask her how she was enjoying the championship. Yes, I like uh, this competition very much. And that's why I uh, finished my uh, trainings. Uh, I made them earlier in order to get ready for watching them every day. And I see here a lot of uh, young girls who must, and uh, that, that's the, what they want, to be uh, ready for the Olympics. Does Amelia Everly remind you of yourself say like you were before the 1976 Olympics in Montreal? Uh, yes, I can see my, uh, myself in Emilia. In fact, uh, so far we have uh, the same results. I mean, if I uh, go back three years and uh, we have the same results uh, with the exception of uh, one single medal. I, at that time I was with one, one medal more than her. You are now a, a grown-up, very pretty young lady. Is this growing up, has that caused you to change your routines? Uh, yes, uh, would change my routine, but in better. Uh, for every apparatus, uh, I have uh, some new elements. Have you enjoyed your fame? It was better for me to conquer it, and uh, it's very difficult for me to maintain it, and that I try to keep it. As Nadia Komenich looks on, there's Amelia Eberly, the young lady who wants to capture that fame. 
but today the question is, can Amelia come back from a shaky start? We'll be back with more of the Romanian Gymnastic Championships later, but now let's go to Paul Page at the San Jose Flat Motorcycle Race. Jones and Nancy the second rotation the Romanian national championship on the beam Teodora Ungurianu the bronze medalist in this event at the Montreal Olympics she is currently tied for second in the women's all around Teodora is just coming out of a bout with hepatitis gaining back Sami she's 17 in the 12th grade gymnastics school in Onesh an expert at crossword puzzles very difficult when you do them in Romania. <laughs> Charlie, not if you're Romanian. So far, she has complete control of this routine. Very difficult dismount coming up. Full twisting, gaining back somersault. Theodora Ungurianu, one of the favorites here. Watch as she goes for her gaining back summy. She does a leap and then immediately pushes off that leg and makes it all the way around. And a very happy young lady. Her score on the beam, 9.60. Next up in the vault, tied for second, Gabby Gorgiu, who needs a 9.65 to move into first place. Not bad. The secret to this vault is getting a good whipping action in the afterflight. And we see that with the head and chest coming right here. Now the body is supposed to stay straight and she has to pike a little bit when coming down. The defending national champion in this event, her score, 9.70. Gabby moves into first place. Amelia Everly, who has been leading throughout the competition. Remember earlier, she had the disaster on the beam. Can she come back from adversity? Charlie, I see the same look of determination on Amelia's face as I see on Nadia's face when she competes. Very clean double fall. Amelia needs a 9.45 to move back into first place. Bella Caroli, who was one Nadia Comaneci's coach, and after the Olympics, Bella left Nadia's school and started a brand new school, and in two years, he's developed Amelia Everly. First on the international scene just a few months ago in the European Junior Championships, when she won the all-around. System. When it comes to solving business communications problems, the system is the solution. 
This is Ludmila Turisheva of the Soviet Union. Though others have gained worldwide fame, Ludmila Turisheva to many epitomizes the ultimate in grace, beauty, and perfection in women's gymnastics. At the 1968 Mexico City Olympic Games, when 26-year-old Vera Chaslavska of Czechoslovakia ended her gymnastic Olympic career by winning the all-around individual gold medal, it was considered the end of an era, the era of the classical woman gymnast. Four years later in Munich, Olga Corbett of the Soviet Union amazed the world with her performances that three gold medals. At the 1976 Montreal Games, 14-year-old Nadja Komenich became the outstanding gymnast of the Games, many times being awarded a perfect score of 10 for her exceptional performances. While Olga Corbett and Nadja Komenich amazed the gymnastic world with their acrobatics, it was Ludmila Turisheva who brought back memories of the past. Ludmila Turisheva, regal, imperturbable, classic. At the 1972 Munich Games, Ludmila Turisheva won the all-around individual gold medal. Here at the Montreal Games of 1976, 23-year-old Ludmila Turisheva ends her Olympic career with another superb all-around performance. Ludmila Turisheva, the winner of four gold, three silver, and two bronze medals. Ludmila Turisheva, one of the great classic gymnasts in Olympic history.
has great control throughout the whole home race. Her score at 9.90, the highest thus far of the competition, and that puts Theodora Ungurianu solidly in second place behind Amelia Everly. The remaining national championships has been 14-year-old Amelia Everly. Earlier today, Nancy talked with her. Amelia, how long have you been in gymnastics? De la vista de Chapin, I'm in gymnastics. I began uh, gymnastics when I was uh, seven years. When you began, did you ever think that you would do as well as you have? <laughs> At the time, I was too young to, to realize that. What kinds of goals do you have for yourself in the in the future? To get the same results uh, I, get, I got so far. And so far the results have been excellent for Amelia Everly. Going into the fourth and final rotation, she leads the competition by 37 one hundredths of a point. On the beam, Anka Grigora. This is usually Anka's best event. She's a very solid performer. Back summy, light bobble there. You know, this is the event where experience does pay off. I found when I was competing that the more opportunities I had to compete, the more comfortable I felt up on the beam. All four events, of course, taking place at the same time. Aerial cartwheel. Oh, a little bobble there. Another back summy. So far, Ink has been able to keep her composure for the most part. Leads right into a game back handspring. Seems a little disappointed with her routine. Yeah, that's not one of the better routines that I've seen Anka do. We see here she has a problem. Her shoulder drops right there. and causes her to be off balance a little bit. But again, she regains her composure and does a good, solid back coming. Her score, a 9.60 for Anka Grigorov. Next up on the vault, Theodora Unguriano. Currently in second place. She needs a good ball to put pressure on Amelia Everly. She's doing a handspring front summy. Great ball! You know, Charlie, those of us in gymnastics usually consider this probably the most difficult ball. And the reason why is because when you do that somersault, you land without seeing the floor. It's called a blind leap. Her score at 9.8. Theodora Lunguriano has put pressure on this young lady, Amelia Everly, who will need a 9.45 in the bars to win the championship. As just a few moments ago, Gabby Giorgio had a terrible time on the beam, scoring only an 8.40. Earlier, Amelia told me that the uneven parallel bars was her favorite event. She's done very well in this event all along. to a handstand, good control, back stalter. Front somersault, full twist. So far, very clean. Straight-bodied handstand, front summy, now right into her dismount. Great routine! Nancy, will it be enough? She needed a 9.45. No, most definitely, Charlie. That was really a, a very clean machine. Watch as she does her free hip circle here. How tight her body is. And she has to have control doing these stunts. Here she has a unique little hop that adds originality to the routine. Her score, a 9.85 second highest score of today's competition. Amelia Everly reacts to the pressure of Theodora Ungoriano. She wins the all-around title of the remaining 
championship. Lynn Gurianu finishes second, and Chris Rieger arrives third, as Gabby Gorgu drops the fifth. Nancy, your impression? Well, Charlie, for Amelia, winning here is an important stepping stone to Moscow. I only wonder how true this picture is, with Amelia Eberle standing on the platform, and Nadia Komenich sitting in the audience. This is Charlie Jones and Nancy Lee.